Okay, so in today's siege, we are versus our main squad, as always, and Zach's Crow Club. Uh, we've played both of these before. We've played Squad Zero about five times. Obviously, they're our main guild, so they're much better than us. Uh, ZCC, Zach's Crow Club. Uh, last time we played them, I think, I can't remember what the result was. Um, they're a tournament guild, so they should be better than us, but I think they've gone through a bit of a rough patch with recruitment and such. Uh, either way, this is going to be a 1v1 versus them. I imagine Squad Zero will just have a 5 cap or something and they'll try and not influence the the battle as much. Uh, and ZCC will just go all in on us, like we're going to do the same on them, so it's pretty much a 1v1 for second place already. So for our first attack we're against Clara, Savannah and Theomaz. Uh, we take the Jean, Leo, uh, Helena comp. Uh, pretty much just as much minus water as we can to try and deal with the Theomars. Leo is going to try hopefully keep the Savannah in check. And then we've got high resistance, uh, tanky runes, so hopefully we can survive and start to get some control. We get stunned, uh, two stuns, and then we get defense broken, so it's already looking pretty bad. And then, yeah, we, we try and shield to try and give Leo a chance. He doesn't, so Leo just straight dies. Uh, so it's looking really, really bad, but... Can maybe still do it, so we see what happens. Maybe should have went for the stun on Leo, on Theomaz there, but... I didn't, don't know why. Uh, we're just trying to get some damage going now. Jean's on double nemesis, so I'm just hoping she can get into invincibility and then we'll just sit there while they hit me, hopefully. Clara's gonna have uh, stuns back up soon though, so that could be a bit of a problem. But Helena is OP, so Helena knocks him off his mount and then goes for the stun on the Clara. She gets the stun and that's probably a game winning stun to be fair because now we are uh, pretty much going to one bob everything. Uh, quite a bad start, but the Hell and the Gene combo kind of 2 v 3 but there's a bit, a bit of luck involved as well because if I didn't get the stun on Clara, she may have stripped uh, the Gene invincibility and then Gene would have died and I wouldn't have probably 1v3'd. So second attack, we are versus the same team, Clara, Sav, Theo. Again, we're just taking full, as much minus water as we can to try and deal with the Theomars. Uh, we pretty much just bring this full bruiser tank team, uh, high defense to try and deal with the defense breaks from Savannah. Uh, we've got a very fast Alia, uh, high res. So he starts off, he gets triple stun, which again is a really bad start. Luckily, Sav derps. And then we get a proc, which is pretty good. And then he lands it on uh, Alia. So Alia's like really in trouble now. Uh, obviously the, she won't hit because it's water up against fire. So then we use the S4 to get the defense buff up. Uh, I think if we didn't proc you, we probably have lost. But she procs into a cleanse. Which then means that he goes and then his fear mass proc. So we did definitely die there, I think, with double double units into uh, a defense broken alley but we got lucky uh, and then from here I think we've already won now because just because of the alley proc uh, but he got a lot of pressure going from the triple stun so I'm guessing this is maybe a despair um, Clara yeah from here we just clear up the uh, the few and then we went and we move on to the next one So for the third attack, we're against Kakano, Lumai, Theomaz. Uh, we bring our Maxi Cleave in with Amber. Uh, we bring the Wunser over the Tiana just because of the base speed issue and the potential for the Lumai to be swift. Uh, as long as Wunser lands his strip uh, on probably two of them, we should win this. Uh, so it's basically a check for Wunser. 
So we're going to Moose first, and he just strips everything. So from here, as long as we don't full miss everything with Maxi, yeah, Amber should just sweep everything up. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So for our fourth attack, we are versus Mua Kiki Nora. Uh, somebody just failed on hitting this in chat and then uh, someone suggested using Galleon, uh, Bernard, Julie because two of them were off will. Uh, so I quickly switched my runes over and I went with mine. Sadly, my uh, Galleon misses the defense break on the uh, Mua, so it doesn't quite go to plan. Um, if I'd have had uh, a shout point out, I needed more uh, speed uh, speed increase in effect on my uh, Bernard. He had something like 25, but apparently the recommend is about 35, so it was just not enough. Uh, and the Kiki survives, and then we ended up losing. So the next attack we have versus CEM, Clara, Ashia, Monty, and we take our uh, Susano Wayne Covenant team to try and one shot the Monty. Uh, I was a bit nervous that this was going to fail because we're against Squad Zero and we have friends in Squad Zero, and they know uh, we use this team quite a bit, so I was expecting like really heavy water damage, uh, damage reduction. Luckily, he the Monty survives, but our um, Susano cuts. Well, moves before the Yashia, so that was kind of lucky. Um, I don't know about lucky, just uh, fortunate, I guess. Uh, then we just kill Clara. Uh, it's pretty much once the Monty dies, you, you kind of won. Uh, unless you there's a massive rune difference, but pretty much just kill the uh, kill the Clara and then kill the Monty uh, once you've killed the sorry, kill the Clara after you've killed the Monty and then just kill the Yashia. They're pretty easy if you can. As long as you kill them on E on turn one. So next attack we are versus the Sylvia Lumai Theomaz. Uh, we decided to Lucian it. Most of these are on uh, violent builds and such. We do get the other Swift one, so if he is on his best Swift, it can be rough, but we use the Jim Dover combo to try and you know, best Swift set to try and make sure we're first. Uh, it's pretty fast, but we managed to get turn one, so then we just pew pew. Uh, that leaves just Theomars. We've got minus water damage on everything, but uh, Lucian. So in the event that the Theomars does kind of go a bit bit wild, uh, they can take a hit or two. So next attack we're versus Nefty's Nora Amber. Uh, somebody previously hit this and it was told it was it was really slow. Uh, definitely not on Swift. So I quickly went back in with my Asima Cleave. Uh, still 100% this season, uh, and we just cleave it down. Uh, as long as we have speed, it's it's just basically very as long as Vera lands something, give her a pushback or a stun, we should pretty much win. So he lands uh, two stuns, uh, two freezes, and pushback, and then Asima uh, just does a thing, and then pew pew, Tiana follows up, and that's it, GG. Yeah, so again we're against another uh, Sylvia Lumai Theo, so it's basically just a speed race. Uh, just to check to see if he is on Swift. Um, again, we just take fastest set. He's got a 3% lead, uh, but hopefully it's not his fastest Swift set. If it is Swift, but we just go. It does look like he's on Swift, but we're faster, so then we just shoot. DMS doesn't proc, and then easy follow up. Pick same again, just max uh, w minus water. So for the next attack, we're against Nefty's Lumai Kinky. We attacked this, I think, last siege or the siege before. Uh, and Xiao picked up that my Windy was not speed tuned in front of the Bulwark. So we made changes to that. And now uh, Windy is moving in front of Bulwark. Uh, this team, pretty good, unless they manage to kill something in turn one. The, uh, the Windy gets his attack bastard on, so he moves behind the Bulwark. 
but he is, he is tuned correctly. Uh, we just work down the Lumi first. Uh, as long as something doesn't die turn one of you, you've got so much to stain, uh, you're just never going to die. And once Lumi dies, you've got immunity pretty much, and the Windy can't even be de defense broken anyway, so as long as as long as you don't die turn one to a uh, violent procs and everything landing, pretty much a free team. Uh, and because it's only uh, pretty much light damage, you can just take max light artifact damage, uh, max damage reduction from light uh, to make it even easier. Uh, very good comp, pretty much uh, suggested by Shao, Diva Siege. Uh, definitely a great comp, and that's pretty much it. So for our last attack we're back against uh, Clara Ashia Monty, use the exact same room, exact same team, uh, pretty much one shot the Monty and then kill the Clara, they're pretty much all down to a damage check on Monty, so your best damage uh, dealing set, uh, that's speed tune to win and then uh, highest damage up on dark, uh, this time we just kill the Monty straight up uh, and go from there, uh, just have to kill the Clara. Once Clara dies, it's pretty much GG. Well, to be fair, once the Monty dies, it's pretty much GG. I've never lost uh, with this team. I don't think I've ever lost for, at all with this team, to be fair. I think it's 100%. But if you are going to lose, it's just if the Monty survives. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we finish 9 1. A uh, bit unlucky uh, with the loss with the Mua Kiki team, but oh well, things happen.